Hello, my name is Trevor. Today we're going to be building a computer. Um, I've been commissioned to build a machine um, as a gift for a young boy. So I've made a build today that is going to be very small. As you can see, that's that's how big it is. It's a very compact machine. Um, so I'm going to make a short video. I'm going to try to keep it about 10, maybe 15 minutes so that it's watchable and uh, maybe even a little bit enjoyable. Um, going through the parts of the computer briefly and the highlights of me assembling the parts. And then at the end, we'll get the full build and we'll make sure everything works all right. All right. First step, we've got the motherboard. Beautiful motherboard we've got here from ASRock. The fatality model. Um, basically, the motherboard is going to connect all of the components um, to each other. It's the communicator between all the parts, and it's also where you're going to plug in external devices like USB drives or headphones or what have you um, to connect them to your machine. So the first step uh, is we're going to get our CPU, which is this tiny chip here, and seat that in the socket. Okay, now we've got our CPU, which is very tiny, but has hundreds and hundreds of tiny little contact pins. And we're going to seat that such that the triangle you see in the bottom left corner of the CPU matches with the small gray um, outline of the corner that's there on the socket. So we should just be able to sit this here um, after we lift this, this um, rod up, sit it in, close the rod, and piece of cake. Okay, now that the CPU is in, we're going to install the CPU cooler. Um, basically how these coolers work is the heat is going to be transferred from that uh, block there with the thermal paste on it for heat transfer. The heat is going to spread through these, uh, I believe they're aluminum fins, and then the fan is going to blow to cool off the fins and it's a very efficient and it's very compact way of cooling your CPU. So let's get this on there. Okay, the cooler is on. Um, don't worry about these wires. I'm gonna be um, taking some zip ties and stuff and um, securing these wires so they're not so in the way um, later. But next we're just gonna move on to RAM. Um, this is 16 gigabytes of RAM, and basically what RAM does in a machine is it stores data extremely fast, but it's known as, uh, it's what's known as volatile memory, which means if you turn the power off of the machine, the data is lost. That's the cost of the near instant uh, storage capacity of these things. So basically, they allow for your computer to hold information while it computes and thinks, um, to free up your CPU to do other things. So let's go ahead and put that in the sockets. Okay, so I actually ran into a small um, small roadblock. Uh, this little nub here on the cooler was actually stopping me from putting in that second stick of RAM. So I had to go out into my garage and find a bunch of different screwdrivers until I found ones that could uh, help me rotate this black thing, uh, the fan part. Okay, so the RAM's installed. And let's see. Okay, next step. Here is 500 gigabytes of storage. Doesn't seem like much, but 500 gigabytes on this tiny drive. It's going to be installed on the, mat, the back of the motherboard, and it's going to sit nice and gentle in that socket. So this is solid state drive storage. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much depth about this. All I'll say is that solid state drive storage is... I'm just going to throw a number out there, like let's say 100 times faster than operating a regular hard disk drive that a majority of computers use. These are a little more expensive, but when I install this drive instead of a hard drive, it basically means that your computer is going to turn on in about 10 to 15 seconds and be completely usable, whereas if it had a hard drive, it might take you a minute, minute and a half. So um, let's get this installed. Okay, now we've opened up the computer case. The front of the case looks like this. Let's just work on getting the motherboard sat in here where it belongs, screwed in. Uh, then we'll sit the power supply up here where it belongs. 
and we'll be almost done. Okay, just ate dinner, um, took some time, and uh, now we've got everything hooked up to the motherboard. We've got the motherboard in, we've got it screwed down, um, and I've connected all of the cables that, that uh, provide power to these ports up front, and um, everything's plugged in and zip tied down. Uh, the neater everything is zip tied down, the better um, movement of air can get through, the cooler your PC is going to run. So now I'm going to get that power supply brick put up here. Okay, now almost done. We've got the power supply up here. It's secured in by part of its weight is held in this bay and then it's screwed in four times so it's not going anywhere. Um, all the stuff that we're not going to need, all the extra cables coming out of the power supply are going to be tied up in here in this little compartment. Um, it doesn't interfere with the fan flow because the fan only flows, it only goes up to here anyways. So now I'm just going to move some of these bigger wires coming from the power supply, tie them down out of the way so the air can flow easier. Um, and then we're going to put the graphics card in right here. Um, and then we'll plug it into the power, put the lid back on the top. And at that point we should be good to boot it up and see if everything works. Okay, uh, real quick, before I plug it in, I just wanted to show off this video card. I think they look super sweet. This is a Gigabyte 1650 Ti. It's got 6 gigabytes of video RAM on board. It's got an armor plate on the back, as you see, to protect the components. It's got a copper heatsink right there that that dissipates the heat through more of those metal fins if you see them underneath the fans. It operates much like our CPU cooler there in the middle. Except there's two fans because this baby gets really hot. So let's go ahead and put her in. Okay, so the build is pretty much done. Everything's secured back on. Um, I pop the stickers on here. What I've done is I've kept anything that you might need from this project all inside the power supply box. I've got the manuals for all of the stuff in here. I've got some spare zip ties, just components that came off the machine, um, extra screws and all of this that came with the uh, motherboard or the case or something. And uh, just generally extra stuff. If you ever acquire um, hard drives um, that you want to upgrade your storage with, you would use these to connect them uh, to the motherboard so that they can uh, communicate information. And then there would be a plug from the power supply you could plug into them. So anyways, everything you need is in this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the important boxes that we've used um, and I'm going to put them inside this box. And I'll give this to you guys um, when you come pick up the machine. And... When I'm actually done configuring this machine, um, right now I'm actually making a Windows 10 media USB so that I can install Windows 10 on the PC here. And when it's done, and once I'm done tinkering with it, I can put the styrofoam back on it. So anytime you guys are going to, um, you want to box this PC up to move it somewhere, like move it to a different house or something, you can put these styrofoam, um, things back on the top and the bottom and you can put it right back in the box that it shipped in and it will be perfectly safe in transit. Um, and one small note, when you're plugging this machine in, don't plug it in to the red and black section where the motherboard is, where all the USB ports and everything are. Don't plug it in here. You want to plug it straight in on the, the left side. Right here, this is where the graphics card is. So you want to plug it in to one of these graphics card slots on the left. Okay, getting late here. Um, I've went ahead and installed Windows, tinkered around with it. Uh, I wanted to show a boot test. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the power button, and we're going to see how long it takes for this thing to boot into the login screen. I'm going to guess like 15 seconds max. So here, I'll press it now.
There we go. That was exactly 26 seconds. Uh, the password to get into this, um, I just made this account up because it wouldn't let me log into Windows without um, having an account. So I just made something up. Um, anyways, the password is 1010. And because you've got such a fast drive, um, the computer is already 100% usable. Um, just 26 seconds after you hit the power button. So anyways, I can't tell if I'm... Anyways, I'm Trevor, the awkward 20-year-old. Um, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoy the computer.